we do not want this vehicle getting away with the officer in the vehicle. They're not gonna get us. <laughs> he still thinks that she's a prostitute, so it's good that she's actually, you know, keeping her cover at this point. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to, you know, another, um, Baltimore County kind of patrol. We'll be mixing it up with this one. I still got to adjust this ped model. My partner, he's still got the U.S. Marshal stamps. Um, you know, just haven't had as much free time to finesse the game as I usually do. But tonight we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a, a prostitute sting operation. We'll be, we'll be housing our own and we'll be baiting, uh, you know, people prospecting sex workers for you know the dirty so we'll go ahead and head into missions and um, reverse prostitution thing we'll go ahead and pick our officer as well and we'll choose her there we go. I had to get rid of the head the head kind of bothers me all right so we got to go pick her up we'll go ahead and back I know some of you don't like the uh, first person patrols but then there's a good bit of the other people that actually do so I like to try to mix it up I enjoy doing them every once in a while I don't like them too often uh, but you'll see it's a lot riskier for us because you know just in terms of actually seeing the people all right so we just picked her up and we're gonna go ahead and take her off out to uh, where we're planning to do our sting operation at, and we'll get started from there But yeah, I've, I've been dabbling something hard. I pretty much got LS paramedics uh, from where I was ported over to the Rage Hook now, and from there, it's 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 looking so good because everything's just everything's coming together for that, and they've got so much functionality in the Rage Hook. So I really look forward to like showing a video on that shortly, kind of showing you guys where I'm at. I've kind of finished tying up the CPR mechanic, and I got to start getting to work on the uh, equipment, you know, getting the equipment, setting the equipment up, getting additional information from the equipment about the person you're helping, and get all those mechanics kind of Bell, out of the US way. To a criminal we're actually, we're actually not going to take that because we're going to be doing a whole other little separate deal tonight. So I'm just looking for a suitable position to put her at, somewhere that I could get good eyes on and, and, and watch her and make sure that we're good to go. And I think we're actually going to drop her right here. So she'll go ahead and get out. And she's going to start working this corner while while we go down here. And we're going to quickly try to bump around and turn back around so we can get eyes on her. This is Control. Suspect last seen in a uh, brown Emperor Locust in South Slope. I didn't even want to join that. We're going to go ahead and kill our lights as we roll back up to here. We're just going to peek over the crest of this. And we got eyes on her right there up to our left. So we're going to see if we get any takers. We do have a couple other call girls right back here behind us. Hopefully that won't make any type of issues. And yeah, I see that guy is fleeing up there. Um, didn't even mean to take that call out. Totally not interested. I'm going to let that kind of finish out or let that individual escape. Uh... This is control. Suspect last seen in a uh, round Emperor Locust on so Onondaga we'll wait, we'll Avenue. So wait until we get some traffic coming through. Maybe somebody will try to scoop her up. And yeah, we'll go ahead and conduct a stop on them. I think we're in a pretty good little concealed spot. You know, you can probably barely see the crest of the car through there if you're picking her up. Chances are you'll be looking at the women rather than looking for me. Uh, we do got another uh, another girl, call girl. Sometimes they get in the fights. They don't like each other at all. All right, so she's gonna be in her vehicle at this time. All 
Alright, so we're just going to give him a little bit of time around that corner. And we're going to do our best. Oops, I did not want that. We're going to do our best to get our lights on and just drive normal without alerting them until they actually complete the transaction. And I know in real life, man, like, oh, so she said naughty boy. We got we to gotta get up here and get the pool on. This is control. Attention all units. We have a report of uh, race and progress on Cisco Street. Having trouble getting this guy to pull over. So we'll see. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. Nope, he's running. We'll see what's happening. This guy's failing the yield right now. He probably thinks he's going to collaborate a story with the uh, prostitute that he picked up about how they're best friends. And little does he know that it's an officer. Nope. This guy does not want to stop. We're actually going to yank this individual out. Alright. So, we got him out now. We're actually going to go ahead. He's kind of compliant. I got my partner right here. I'm going to try to uh, go ahead and get a frisk on him. See what he's got on him. I just want to make sure we weren't going to get hit by a car before I go in for this frisk. And she appears to be fine, so we'll go ahead and check this guy for anything. He doesn't have nothing on him, but he is going to be going in for the uh, for the prostitution deal. And from there, we'll go straight to the arrest. <laughs> What's going on in the background? People getting ran over and whatnot. And we go ahead and we're going to call for a wagon for this guy. I'm going to move him over here to the sidewalk for now. And uh, probably have my partner just hold fast by him. And I'm going to tell him to hold that position while I go ahead and check the trunk of the vehicle. Uh, I'm parked a bit too close. We're going to have to go ahead and move the vehicle up. So that kind of concludes that one. We're going to get this vehicle towed. Uh, we got her back safe. Our partner's good to go. We're going to go ahead and enter our car. Hop back in it. And we'll tell our partner to uh, regroup as well. Come on, buddy. You can get in the back. You don't. Oh, you don't want to ride unless you got a shotgun, huh? You can do it, man. God, he was all moody about that, huh? Alright, so... Let me show my... And we'll probably go not exactly to the same area, but pretty close to it. And we'll drop her back off, see if we can't get somebody else off the street. So that guy was, like, hesitant. He didn't, he didn't exactly flee, but he was very, very hesitant on actually yielding for us. And that's kind of a good area to work. Uh, it's yeah, I kind of like to sit close to where the known um, prostitution takes place, and kind of make people think it's expanding. You know, make them all comfortable. Like you don't want you don't want to have hookers popping up out of nowhere. Like people will be leery of that. We we'll can get back down here. We're definitely in prime time. It's like 1:17 in the morning. So generally, if people are out and about. I think we're going to drop her up a little bit higher this time. So she should be getting out. And tell my partner to regroup. Maybe he wants to hop in the front. He don't care. 
All right, buddy. Close the door, please. Just please close the door. You're not gonna close it, but you're gonna take shotgun. All right, so we just dropped her. She's gonna be working right there on the corner. And I'm gonna bump down here. And we'll just take the curb on this one so I can turn around a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and uh, knock our lights off. Great, I'm trying to close my door and she's already got somebody else that's interested. He hasn't picked her up yet, so we got a little bit more time. Looks like she just got in the car in front of us. He's got a headlight out, so we got a reason for the pull right there, too. God, I guess it's getting cheap nowadays. Alright, so they already agreed to, you know, the sex amount. We're gonna go ahead and get up on this guy and try to initiate a pullover for him. Same deal. This guy is not wanting to, uh, not wanting to get up, like let us get up on him. I was just checking to make sure I'm not missing any other options. Oh, it looks like he is. Just, he's deciding to run on us. This guy might be trouble. Send backup. So we're going to be calling for backup. You know, we do got an officer in the vehicle now, so this is becoming dangerous. I don't know if she really does have a little girl. She's just using good tact. Alright, so this guy's squiggling through. Apparently a lot of officers want to join. Everybody wants to be part of this narco. <laughs> We're not narco, but prostitution stream. We are going to be requesting a helicopter. Um, we do not want this vehicle getting away with the officer in the vehicle. They're not going to get us. <laughs> he still thinks that she's a prostitute, so it's good that she's actually, you know, keeping her cover at this point. And I'm waiting for the air unit to show up in route two before I even try anything. And we don't have a push bar on our vehicle. He is already all over the road. Yeah, so she's trying to talk him down. It's a good thing we did request a helicopter. She's able to, like, try to... You know, if you can break somebody's mentality down, it's either going to go one or two ways. They'll either stop and quit, or they'll, like, push it too hard and crash. Suspect headed west on Broke of Duke's Expressway in a uh, gray Emperor Locust. Alright, so this thing's actually turned into a big deal. Looks like he's going to be trying to run on foot. And we're going to be going for the frisk on this guy. we got plenty of units back up. And we even got the helicopter on scene now. She got out right out really quick. So he, he definitely knows at this point. Okay, so he actually did have a weapon too. So she was she was in pretty good bit of danger. We're going to let one of these other guys make the actual arrest. And there's our helicopter that came in to help us during that pursuit. We'll watch them for a little bit as they clean up. Yeah, we did have two cars respond. And we're going to search the uh, trunk of the vehicle as well. If I can get it without looking away too much. Okay, so is anybody going to take this guy? I need somebody to take this guy. Screw it. I'm going to search the trunk. Or give it a ticket. One or the other. Aw, oh, you just totally hit my car. For no damn reason. Alright, so, trunk's empty. He's actually getting, or attempting to get in there. I got a solution for him. Call for services, we'll get a tow truck. And I'm gonna give this guy a little bump. Usually that'll help him out. Totally not helping this guy. There we go. Give him a little bump. There you go. So he got in, they got the car towed. 
And we'll be hopping back into our vehicle at this time. If we can. We're like getting sandwiched by cars. Like That's that Grand Theft Auto 4 AI logic for you though. Oh, I tried to pull out my gun a little too early and I put on the Yelp siren. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, you know, show support. Just click that like button and let me know. And, you know, I'm trying to use this Baltimore City County Police Pack to its fullest. I know a lot of LCPDFR YouTubers will often, um, you know, change up their packs to different states and cities a lot. And, you know, it's not something I plan to do while I will be using different states and cities from time to time. I still want to show you that a single police department has a lot of flexibility and a lot of things they can kind of get into and get involved with rather than just showing some new car or reskinning something. And I'm not talking down on anybody that does that. Um, that's, that's a lot of work. And that's the main goal behind here is I like to go after stability when I play. And you can see that building this Baltimore County City Pack has been a large like issue, it's an endeavor, it takes time to get right, it takes time to do it well, and I haven't completed it yet. So I look forward to bringing you more, and you know, I'll see y'all at the next one.